that makes my shoulder feel. Oh, this is the realistic perspective. For what? Someone looking over my shoulder? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so nice. Uh, let's see. I can't even think when you do that. I literally just sat there unable to even process anything. All right. You want any rice flour? Um, I don't really care one way or we don't another. Need it. We just need some buckwheat and amaranth. Man, this smells like chocolate. Camera, smell that. So good. Mmm, smells like chocolate. <laughs> smells like chocolate. Even though it's weed. Right. How does this smell like chocolate? That's so weird. How does this smell like mushrooms? What is that? Amaranth. Oh my god, that smells like, um... <clears throat> to me, that smells like... Uh... That rice um, protein powder that had like peas in it or whatever, but you couldn't taste it. All you could taste was rice. That's what it smells like. Yeah, okay. I guess it just means it's got a lot of protein. I'm sure. A lot of bland tasting protein. Crunching nuggets in with your uh, regular stuff. Ooh, looking good. Looking nutty. Huh, a couple of them are still whole. I guess I'll pick those out. Yeah, that's fine if it has. I just don't want whole ones. They destroy the flavor. I broke one in half with my mighty fingers. It was already irrevocably damaged. Eh, about right. Uh, that might be. We'll see if that's enough. I think it'll probably be a bit better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. I can confirm. I know what you're saying. See, so just add a bunch of your tasty sunflower oil or whatever, and then you do something very advanced. You uh, smush it with your fingers. But really, you want to 
toss it in the oil like you're a fancy restaurant here. Wow, that's pungent. All right, there you got some like that. Now I'm gonna add some peanut blubber. And just wet my hands off. Yeah, I'll wait until I get this mixed in. There's an example off to make some more, you know, so we'll cut, I guess. Alrighty, so there we got all this stuff. I'm gonna add some spices in there, all the usual usual culprits. Nutmeg and all spice, oh, that's the wrong one. This is the one that's open. Yeah. All right. Those are for later. Let me put these aside. All right. Put avocado oil on it. Now you just got to apply smushing effort with your palm of your hand, and it creates the nice musty crusty. If there's not enough oil, it'll stick to your hand too much. Also, as you do it, you want to twist your hand because that'll pop it loose from it without it, uh, you know, making a mess and popping up with it. For the corners, again, you want to massage into the corners. See that? And kind of you're kneading it in there, see that? Got to smooth it all out all over the pan. Of course I ground the almonds up in my grinder. Don't want some particles of it left. I'll have to shift this over here. You just gotta keep working with it, adding more avocado oil. Avocado oil surprisingly tastes good in desserts too. It's, it's good stuff. It works. You don't want too thick of a pie crust, anyways. So we'll just ooze its way over that way and thin it out. It's pretty exciting. Squishy, squishy, squashy, squishy.
I twist a little bit each time and uh, it lets it thin out. And when you want to repair damage points, you just twist as you pad. I think I got about the right amount now. We don't need too much of a crust, just enough. Alright, there's stage one of the crust done. You could, uh, at this point, uh, usually people brown it in the oven with a little egg white on it or something, or, but I don't know if I need to do that. I'll just put it in the oven for a little bit. Well, it's mostly nuts, so... Yeah. Uh, and it's whole wheat flour. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess... Is buckwheat really wheat? It doesn't necessarily seem to be well, wheat it's a though. grass. It's a type of grass that's yeah. tasty. One of those tall grasses. It's already kind of heated in there. I'll just uh, brown it for like five minutes on 400. 395. stage now. I gotta wash my hands and stuff. I just can turn the camera off for a second. What the heck is that? I don't know. Some sort of berry thing? I don't know what that is. Well, I don't care. Well, <laughs> I think it's a flower that's undeveloped or something. Yeah. It's something. like a berry flower that's undeveloped. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that could be what it is. Well, that's kinky. Yeah, that's kind of that juice. Is, yeah, that's good. Have the berry flowers and with the berry. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. Alright, here's some. We'll try this out. Blueberry and jasmine iced tea. Just to add some flavorings. Instead of the applesauce, because it was uh, moldy in our fridge. I'm going to be using banana sauce. Oh, yeah. Bananas. Yeah. Bananas. You can't do that. That's the forbidden technique. Is it? I don't know. No, that's the backhanded pour. Man, the ends of bananas are always where they're bad, right towards the tip. Right on the pee-pee. Um, sure. I don't know what I'm saying.
Very convenient. You cannot believe how good this smells. And remember, this is a pizza pie, and so what you do is you layer things, and so, of course, first you gotta do maple syrup, which is the equivalent of, like, your... Paul Bunyan's bunions? Mm, what? No. I don't the equivalent know. of tomato sauce for, like, a pizza. Oh, okay. This is your, you know, sweet base. Syrups. Now we'll take our banana syrup and put that on there. This is experimental, so I'm just making it up, so I don't know. I'm not very fast right at first. Yeah, chunks of banana, I like it, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's kinky. I was getting cranky. That's a regular yeah. old pie right there. Right, there's your cheese, right? It's your prosciutto. Your mozzarella. Yeah. Your gorgonzola. Your gouda. And the least of all, but not last of all, cheddar. Well, anyway, I gotta make some more banana syrup. Oh no, more banana soy whoops. Yeah, rip it like a Beyblade. What even does that mean? Whip it like a Beyblade. Eh, do I need this? The super whacker? No, I'll just throw it in here again. Who's getting? Put some uh, almond in here, almond extract. 
That will create a nice, uh, see, look at that. Crazy is a nice uh, fact in the, uh, look at that, roiling and boiling. Some vanilla. Gotta love them alky hauls. honey in there. I wonder if... Man, all I got in here is cranberries. I don't know if I want to use those. I wish we had some cherries. I mean, I could... If we don't have quite enough, I could get the strawberries and, uh, you know, put in them in theirs, too. I think we might need some strawberries. I don't have a berry yet. Okay, so I guess we'll cut because I gotta get, get squaw berries at the other place. So. They're all frozen? Yeah, look at that. Ozone frozen. Oh man. Hmm. I don't know if this camera can pick it up. Yeah, probably not. It's steamy though. Look at all that strawberry flesh. Ripe for the picking because it was picked ripe.
clean my hands again and squash this up and then uh, I layer it on there. Water gets up to 150, 170 degrees. Feels so good on the hands. Whew! There's a little cold water. Just to soothe your burning, aching hands. Yeah. And your burning, aching desires. All of them unleashed at once. Perfection right there. Splurt some of it on there. Yeah, splurty splurt! Look at that. Oh, yeah. Splurty splurt like splurt pants. Irresistible. That's a top and we're dropping. Now that my hands are officially frozen. Now we quickly increase their temperature back up to maximum. So you get that nice tingle burn. Oh yeah, till your skin's nice and lobster. some more spiciness over the top. Is that some nutmeg? Yeah. Oh man, the spice master. It's good because the coconut blossom sugar tastes all sort of blossomy still. So it's real good as a top coating, you know. sugarize the edges like a total madman it's just an extra juicy delight remember that kids all right look at that specimen now there's your pizza pie Took forever because I was figuring it out, but I think it's about done. Yeah, I'll just put it in the oven and let it bake for however long pies bake for. What is it, 40 minutes or something? I can look it up. One big pie right there. 
That's worth like what? Three pies? I don't know. I don't know. I I can't pie by pie. I think I'll put it on the lower shelf. It should be delicious in about 40 minutes. Set the timer and we'll whip our cream and we'll be all ready and prepared for the final product. A fruity flavor in your uh, dessert for the night. And what you do is you take the castings from this and you add it to your whipping cream. You can see there's a bunch of honey still in here. Because I was making you know, the honey patties to set on there. Might be too much liquid though, so let's uh, I'll strain it when we get the strainer. Chunky bits. There we go. Mmm, smells good. Berry yeah. sauce. Yeah, it does. You can sprinkle that over the top of your uh, whipping cream. Once you have it on your finished dessert. Uh, other than that, I'll just be whipping this. Uh, I guess you can add whatever sweetener you want to it. Like... Yeah, it just got up to temperature anyways. Still cooking it. Put a little honey in there. I like honey in my whipping cream. I do too. I like honey in my whipping cream, honey in my life. Honey in my whipping cream and honey in my wife. Well, she is made out of honey. Anyway. What? She's a honeybee. Oh, man. I uh, hope not. Hello. Bug snacks versus Pokemon. Fight. Yeah, uh, bug snacks collector's card. That sounds pretty good. Right? center some of the banana crept up through the uh, higher filling layers I think the banana might have rose I think the banana is the culprit and so this pan was not deep enough I should have used the deeper dish pan cuz yeah that, that's my best guess I mean it'll be tasty but I spilled some in the oven so a lot of that be a warning to you
Look at that. So I already sort of tasted it, and yeah, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. All right. so sweet and fruity that it's hard to identify all the berry flavors just mix wonderfully it's pretty oh, much oh yeah the best yeah i haven't tried it all together the crust the, the part i tried to gather somewhat it tasted more like peanut butter banana pie which was my intention that's what it tastes like but i mean all of the berries too are just massively flavorful oh okay yeah the peanut butter's not it's just there but i mean it adds flavor it's it, i mean it's texture is just kind of there is all yeah yeah yeah, I didn't use too much, but still quite a bit. I mean, yes, it's very fancy and it's very tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, try your own pizza pies at home. Next time I make this, maybe another however many days or a week, I'll use um, some nectarines. So it'll be pretty tasty. Alright, see you later.